The museum started off as a memorial. It was uh, made in 1953, just after the Second World War. And when it was opened by the Duke of Edinburgh, it was consecrated by the Bishop of London in memory of all the cricketers who'd given their lives in conflict. So that's what it first started out as. And in fact, it was converted from an actual racket court. So it is, in, in all senses of the word, a sport museum. Uh, over the years, the club's collections have just developed exponentially. And so now we're in a situation where we can only put the highlights on view. Over the last five or six years, we've used the museum as a series of experiments. So you'll see a changing display on the upper floor. At the moment, we have contemporary portraits, which have been painted by some of the leading portrait artists uh, in London over the last sort of six years. The Ashes Urn is always on display because that's the heart and soul of the collection. And we have a series of permanent displays at the moment, which are based around themes such as the war, such as um, race, religion, and how we record the game. The actual work that we do, or the work that others do, to memorial, memorialise the game for the future. When visitors come, they feel, well, they certainly feel the history and, and the tra traditionality of the museum. But what I also hope they'll go away with is understanding that they've seen the finest collection of original items relating to cricket. And I can't come here and not ask you about the, um, the ashes, especially at the moment. Could you just explain what exactly is in that, that glass case? Yes, well, if I had a penny for every time anybody went, wow, that's small, uh, we, we'd, we would have uh, probably been able to build an ashes in the size of the Empire State Building. It is literally a tiny and insignificant thing, but the history bound up around it is so great that uh, I don't think anybody has gone away disappointed having been on one of our tours and listened to what we do know of its story. What's the most bizarre thing that you hold here which is related to cricket in some form? I mean the Ashes Urn we've talked about but I'd say the other thing perhaps is an Aboriginal war club that we have. We identified it as being a South Australian uh, tribe who had made it. it. We now call it a Boama and it was used, as far as we know, by one of the Aboriginals on the original tour of an Australian team to the UK, which was entirely made up of Aboriginal cricketers. In the lunch intervals, they used to put on displays of hunting and their Aboriginal skills. And Dick a Dick, to whom this club belonged, had a small shield and this club with which he used to defend himself against cricket balls thrown by visitors who paid money to do so. And they supplemented their income in that way. Well, we've got about 15,000 items in the museum collection and that includes 3,000 pictures. We've got prints, uh, fine art, posters, drawings, the whole range. And then we have objects like equipment, balls, bats, pads, um, clothing. We've got some of the oldest uh, cricket textiles um, and costumes in the collection. Um, then we have an archive um, of maybe 30,000 pieces, um, manuscripts, um, books, um, letters, correspondence, all sorts of things. All cricket related? All cricket related, say so related to the MCC club and related to um, players and scorers. We take sort of personal archives as well and we look after them here. Um, and in the library collection we have maybe 20,000 books and annuals, periodicals, etc. So maybe one day everyone could go online and access all this material, see all these photos, I mean is that the, the main aim? That's, that's the, the great dream, that's, that's what we're working towards at the moment. And um, you told me just a minute ago you're a bit of a you're a golf fan as well, you've worked in the Golf Museum? Yeah that's right, I worked in the British uh, Golf Museum in St Andrews. How does working in the, uh, St Andrews compare to working at the home of cricket? <laughs> Um, well, I love Lords. I love working here. It's, it's a lovely like oasis in the city, um, and it's there's so many similar links with the um, Royal Ancient Golf Clubhouse and the museum in St Andrews, and and the sort of situation set up here with the MCC Club and the museum that we have. So we work really closely with a lot of the different um, sports museums up and down the country.